Good morning and today let's talk about testing your forms. I'm gonna use an example from one of the previous videos. Email should be a valid email. If I input 1 to 3 it will complain that it needs to be a valid email and if I input a password that is too short like 1 to 3 for example it will say that password should be longer than 6 characters. If both email and password are valid then when we press sign in we see the alert. The onSubmit function that alerts the, the message is provided through the props. So in our test we will just use just mock and see if the onSubmit function was called. Let's go to signinspec.js, import React from React, describe, sign in. Now we define a callback. And here we need to test two cases. First, with the valid inputs where we actually call the submit function. And with invalid inputs where we need to check that the, that we will get error messages. Describe with valid inputs and another describe with invalid email and one more with invalid password. Now we need to import our sign-in component. Import sign-in from sign-in. In our describe block with uh, valid inputs we need to test that it to do we can use the to do to plan the test so that we don't have to write the testing callback and we can only write the test name so we test that it calls the on submit function with invalid email we need to test that it we also use to do renders the email validation error and with invalid password it to do renders the password validation error. Now if you're on your test you will see that you have three tests in to do. Let's fill them in with the testing logic. Remove the to do from the first test case, add a callback and inside do it let's render the sign in component const get by label text get by role those are selectors we will need them later equals render from react testing library and here we render sign in. Now let's pass the mock on submit. On submit equals and let's create the mock. Const mock on submit equals just fn. Pass the mock on submit on submit. Here we've rendered our form. Now we need to supply values for the inputs. We're going to fire event change on the element that we get by label text and our email label text is email address asterisk and the event that we want to send is an object with target value email at test.com when we trigger the on change event react hook form will handle it for us and because it handles it using the internal state we need to wrap it into the act it is just a react requirement act the callback needs to be an asynchronous function async we call act with await and we make our test callback also an asynchronous function async so we can use this await for act now let's trigger password on change event for event on change get by label text password and the value will be one two three four five six seven now we can fire the click event on our submit button act await async callback fire event click get by roll button and finally after we change the input values and then click the submit button we can expect that mock on submit was called using to have been called we see already that the test passes this is because i'm using the jest extension for vs code but you can also just run the tests and see that sign in with valid inputs calls the unsubmit function let's write the test for the invalid inputs now Remove that to do from the invalid email test at the callback. Here we also will need the get by label text and also a container. Container is an element that contains the whole layout that you're rendering. Render sign in. Now we await act. We pass an asynchronous callback. Don't forget to make the test callback also asynchronous. And inside of this act callback, we fire event. It's on change event. We'll need to get the email input get by label text email address asterisk so if i change event on email input with the target value invalid email this string is obviously an invalid email after we change our input 
as uh, React Hook form now works in on blur mode. So we trigger the um, validation when we blur the inputs, when they lose, lose the focus. We need to unfocus the email input. We do it by using fire event blur email input. Now we can write the expectation. Expect container inner HTML to match. And we match it with the um, email validation error. Enter a valid email. Let's look at the tests. They pass. Now we can copy this code to test the password, make this callback asynchronous, change the email input to password input, and email address to password. Value will be one to three, because the minimum length of our password is six characters. Let's enter three characters. And the message will be password should be longer than six characters. Remove that to do. Now this test passes, we see it in the terminal as well. And this is how you test React hook form. Thank you for watching this video, press subscribe button if you want to see more and if you want to vote for the next videos then join my Discord server. The link is in the description.